um, how to live stream your games on the Quest 3 the best way to do it. Um, we're going to use, well, we're, what are we going to need? We're going to use a link cable to attach to our Quest 3. We're going to need a MetaQuest Developer Hub program. And we're also going to need a developer account. Now, I'm not going to show all of the steps on how to create a developer account and everything, but I am going to link, put a link in the description on how to do all of those things. And um, I'm also going to show you a quick fix if your game is not showing on OBS using the normal method of casting. All right. So first, make sure you have a developer account. And once you do, you go to this link, MetaQuest Developer Hub, which I'm going to put in the description. You download the MetaQuest Developer Hub app, right? And then you open the Developer Hub app, which is here. You go to Device Manager. Obviously, you plug in your Quest 3 on your PC using your link cable. Now you may be wondering why use a link cable, right? So this method is for people who, you know, don't ha necessarily have the most uh, powerful uh, router there, uh, and uh, this is like a nice alternative to have a very stable live stream of your gameplay without worrying about internet connection, how far you are from your modem router, how strong the signal is. You just plug it in, and it's gonna you know stream it accurately so from device manager from the app you click beta cast once your quest 3 is already uh, plugged in right it's gonna show active and then you click beta cast and then it's gonna show you the game and as you can see here oh, showing my chair but if I aim this way yeah here this is the start of Asgard's Wrath 2. Great game, by the way. Just came out. Today is December 16, 2023. And yeah, so. All right. So from here, you are going to want to unmute the audio. Otherwise, if this is muted, your game is not going to be heard, right? From there, you are going to switch to cinematic. And it may restart the app that you're playing and then now it's readjusted it right all right so as you can see yeah it's confirming boundary here and um, yep and where is it Asgard's Wrath there there you go so it's still loading. Just give us a second. Yeah, the game's loading. By the way, while it's loading, I'm gonna show you how to like really upscale your stream. So go to the gear icon and set the target bitrate to the max 30 Mbps, maximum resolution, maximum frame rate, 60 FPS. That's the best stream you're going to have on your Quest 3. As you can see, this is the gameplay or the game itself from your VR headset. Now, how do we make this appear on our OBS so we can stream it? Oh, one more thing here. You can also adjust left or right eye, right? So if you're right eye dominant, you can choose right eye. All right. Now, Is it playing? All right, uh, let me mute this first. All right. Oh, hold on. It's acting up. Up, oh, up. Oh. All right, all right. I'm gonna mute this first. All right, just so I can explain myself. But this should be unmuted. All right. But I'm gonna mute it for now, just so it doesn't make noise. All right. So now, traditionally. The way that you're going to show your gameplay is you create a source on OBS called for game capture, right? You go game capture, and then after game capture, you 
click capture specific window and then you select the window casting which is basically what is on this window casting right but if you do this right now it is not actually gonna show the game it's just a blank screen this method used to work this is this was beautiful I used to do this method all the time but now it's just showing a blank or a black screen I thought it was because OBS just recently updated today I thought it was because quest recently updated today I tried everything and I couldn't figure it out so if you want another way to fix this we'll cancel out of this for now another way to do this is alright sorry about that alright showing my screen again another way to do this on OBS you add a window capture right window capture and then as you can see here we have oops can you see this I'm not sure you can see this alright so alright there I'm gonna show you the settings I have on window capture alright so window capture select the window casting right capture method as you can see it's all white doesn't work select Windows 10 and now it's showing you what is on your headset right so if you do it that way if you're you know if you're trying to cast what's on game capture and it's just showing black don't even waste your time just go to window capture set it to casting Windows 10 and then OK and then that should show you gameplay of what's on your headset and going back to the casting window again make sure you unmute the audio otherwise nobody will hear the gameplay right and then from here when you are casting this thing onto OBS just make sure on window capture you click transform and you stretch it the screen so it stretches the whole thing right and then sometimes actually most times it's gonna show you a menu here on top it's gonna show you the menu of what you're capturing like like on on this window it's gonna show this quest 3 this bar you don't want to show this bar so all you gotta do on OBS is just drag it up so here for example there is a box and all you gotta do is just drag this line up so it hides that bar alright now you will also notice that if you unmute the audio and if you have PC speakers it's gonna blast the sound on your PC speakers so you could just mute your PC speaker on the Windows sound option as long as the desktop audio on OBS for window capture is moving then it means that it is streaming whatever the audio is on the casting window this window and that's what's important alright so I think that's it this is the best way to stream your games on the Quest 3 right now the fastest way to do it and shout out to Marty Dude VR I'm gonna link his uh, video on the description and you can follow all his steps but at the final um, step of his guide if game capture doesn't work and it's just a black black screen for you just try my method which is window capture and that should show the game for you hope this helps happy streaming